in recent years they have closed down what used to be the bowling alley and movie theater in the town I grew up in. Yeah, you heard me. Bowling alley and movie theater. It was an entertainment <laughs> complex right there on one end of a busted ass strip mall. No surprise really that they tore it down, but I was pretty pissed off to see that it happened so they could put fresh stucco on a piece of shit strip mall and move into Baptist Mega Church with zero consideration at all for a new pollen alley. <laughs> shit like that will piss a man off. <laughs> We'll take a minute and introduce the band. <clears throat> Over here on the lead guitar and the slide guitar and the chair and the beer is my partner in crime, longtime friend, Mr. Scott Everlevin Anderson from Tampa, Florida. We, we borrowed him from a damn fine band called Have Gun Will Travel. And if you get the chance, check them out. They're pretty damn amazing. And they're going to be coming through this town before too long. If, Probably in the summertime. But maybe not. Maybe not. It's better that way. In the winter. Right? Mama didn't raise no fool. <laughs> Back here on the drums, keeping it all together. Some of you folks may know him. Some of you folks may love him. Some of you ladies may know him even better than that. Mr. Kevin Hogel from Newport, uh -huh. Kentucky. Yeah. You dare call it Cincinnati. There's a whole damn river between those towns. <laughs> even if you can see the ball field. <laughs> I've never been in a band with a fuzzy-headed ginger before, but he's an alright dude right here on this bass guitar, Mr. Jeremy McIntyre, who yeah. has held down the low end in bands such as the Dead String Brothers and Waddy Morgan in the 78s. We'll be, yeah. <laughs> be here tomorrow. That's a little uh, prop for you guys. And the first town we ever toured in was this one. And Clint Holly booked our first show here at the Town Friar all those years ago. And over the years, we ended up over here, and Mark and Cindy really supported the hell out of us. And uh, one of the things that I always kind of held with me, and it was a great piece of, you know, Mark did a really nice thing for me. He told me one night, there's only two bands I saw play on this stage that I knew were going to end up on that stage. And he said it was the Drive-By Truckers and Whitey Morgan in the 78s. Nice! You know, we have our differences, but I'm real glad to see that Mark's prediction came true. And I thank you guys for all your support, and I thank Cleveland for all that over the years. Yeah. I'm real glad here to be here tonight, and I'm going to be back in a few weeks with my new band, Jennifer Westwood and the Handsome Devils. Hold on, hold on. Before you clap too loud, she had that band name before. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I do a lot of time driving around, and it gives you time to think about some of the weirdest shit. I'm going to ask you people if you have ever pondered what it might be like if old Pat Robertson was to sell used cars instead of preach on TV, because that occupied my mind all day yesterday. Jesus wants to see you in a beauty. I can't pay him nothing out for your soul. And I did not say I'm going to come on a holy road. Get across town in the morning, shop and pop your door. Bye. 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 Bye.
Strong. 